You know, uh, Mark Hyman and I um, were together recently, and he had told me about his investigative reporting. He's a lead investigative reporter for Sinclair Broadcast Group. And before I introduce this package to you, I just want Mark welcome him to the show, thank him for his brilliant investigation. And there's Devin, <laughs> and there's Aaron, and there's Mark. Talk about this package. And uh, thank you, um, thank you, uh, Armstrong. Sexual assault. Rape is the least investigated violent crime in America. Less than one half of one percent of all reported rapes result in a felony conviction. And there are approximately 250,000 untested rape kits in America. This is indeed a crisis. And that leads us into our package. Let's take a look. She lost trust in mankind. She didn't understand why no one believed her. Mike and Cindy Rondini were devastated when their daughter Megan called from college. She'd been raped. But the worst came months later when Megan took her own life. The bottom fell out. I don't know what hell's like, but it's pretty damn close to that. The Rondinis believe Megan's case wasn't thoroughly investigated because the alleged assailant claimed the sex was consensual. She always felt accused. Um, she was never, she never felt like she was the victim. In our nationwide investigation, we discovered a shocking number of police departments dismissed hundreds or even thousands of rape claims as unfounded, in spite of DNA evidence and injuries. This case, she was at a bar. Brandon Stahl was part of a team at the Minneapolis Star Tribune that examined about 1,500 closed cases from a two-year period spread across 20 cities in Minnesota. Evidence wasn't being collected. Witnesses who could provide a valuable information in a case, they weren't being interviewed. Often these cases weren't even assigned an investigator. The numbers were staggering. No investigator in 25% of cases. A third of the victims never interviewed. And most cases never sent to prosecutors. Even when investigators were assigned, basic steps weren't followed. When it became apparent that an alleged perpetrator may have been previously accused of sexual assault, yes. charged, and convicted, Yes, they were not investigated. Correct. The findings in Minnesota echoed what we discovered after analyzing local law enforcement and FBI crime data nationwide. Rape claims were often dismissed as untrue. Nearly 40% of the police departments we examined closed half or more of the rape cases in 2016 and 2017 without charging anyone. A lot of times victims would report um, and they would never hear back from police. Not all cases can be prosecuted. However, the victims we interviewed and the medical records and data we examined suggest there is a troubling trend in this country when it comes to rape cases. This is why Megan's parents are speaking out. She didn't want other people to be treated like this. She didn't want this just kind of to go into the, the circle file and disappear. Um, I don't have that much time left. I really think I'm only here because I want to see this resolved somehow. The Rondinis want other victims to get the thorough investigation they believe their daughter never got. For Inside Your World Investigates, I'm Mark Hyman in Austin, Texas.